What is going on my dudes and dudettes? It's Sean here with Arsenal Superterium. I'm chilling with my Domorales boy right now. He's uh, looking gorgeous as ever. Really, really pretty snake. I'm going to miss these guys when, um, when I'm brewmating them for winter. They're fabulous pets. Really, really great. So, um, today we're going to talk about can you keep pet rodents and pet snakes um, in the same room, basically. Or even in different rooms, however you choose to do it. I'm going to come from the topic of in the same room first. Um, see if I can untie. Nah, he's not coming. Lucy's he's just going to tighten up if I do that, so I'm not going to bother. Yeah, so uh, if you're new around here, guys, make sure you subscribe and smash that notification bell. I do daily videos, and you don't want to be missing that. And if you like the video, make sure you like the video. It really helps me out with the YouTube algorithm. And let's get straight into it. So when I first started in the hobby, this topic was something I was really concerned about because I've got pet degus. I don't know if you know what degus are, but they sort of they sort of like chinchillas or like chipmunks, squirrels, rats. They are a rodent species, but they're sort of that type of family. Um, I'll add a little short clip at the end of this video of what a degu looks like of my little degu just playing about, so you know what a degu looks like. And um, they're really cute little animals, but when I was first keeping them, the snakes, I was keeping them in my bedroom. So I was really concerned that keeping the snakes in my bedroom would really have a negative impact on their temperament. They'd always be stressed, I thought, um, with, uh, you know, with smelling the rodents all the time. I thought they might lash out to me and um, you know it was all sorts of things going in my head but I tried it anyway and do you know what? I didn't have any issues at all did not have an issue um, the only thing I would say is obviously make sure the snakes can't escape or the, or the rodents can't escape in case they end up in one another's enclosures um, but obviously just make sure that uh, everything is nice and secure um, if you're handling your rodents guys, which obviously you probably are, wash your hands before you handle your snakes. Um, keep the rodents enclosure nice and clean so it keeps the smell down as well, that's really important. Um, and try to not show the rodents, the snakes, because that's just going to stress them out. And the snake is, you know, going to think, oh, look, there's my food, and it's going to go into feeding mode. Maybe it'll try to eat the rodent, maybe it'll try to bite you. Um, all sorts of things go wrong there. I have actually seen a few, you know, really awful things on Facebook where I've seen, you know, people have kept like a boa or something. And like a guinea pig or rats or whatever and they haven't closed the enclosure and then the next morning they wake up and the, and the rat or the guinea pig is gone um, and uh, do you know what? if that happened to me I'd never forgive myself it was really playing on my mind a lot and that is why I ended up building this garage setup so ultimately if you're gonna keep snakes and rodents uh, in the same house um, I would try to do it in different rooms Maybe even, you know, just make sure the room that you're keeping the snakes in is locked at all times and the, the you know, are closed at all times and the room that you're keeping the, the rodents in is closed at all times as well. So, you know, there's sort of four layers of security then, isn't it? There's the snake's enclosure, the snake's room, and then there's the rodent's room, and then the rodent's enclosure. So you've got four, you know, separate locks and they'd all have to sort of fail, so to speak, for the snake to be able to get in and eat the rodent other than that um, if you're gonna keep them in the same room really uh, the main sort of concern for me it would be keeping the rodents uh, enclosure nice and secure um, the rodent is probably just as likely to get out as the snake but if the snake gets out and it can't get in the rodent's enclosure, then it's not going to be able to eat it. Um, there's very little you can do as far as extra security on a snake's enclosure compared to a rodent's enclosure. So you can just like get narrow bars or whatever for the um, for the actual you know getting into it, uh, so that the snake can't get in. Make it nice and strong. Obviously, then try try not to leave any enclosures open because you're asking for problems. 
um, but other than that you shouldn't have any issues really everyone has it that has snakes has them escape now and again okay um, and anyone that has kept snakes for a long time and says they have never had a snake escape they're probably you know lying to you everyone that I've known that have kept snakes has lost a snake at some point including myself um, most of them have found mine I gotta say the only ones that I have managed to find are um, the I lost the baby African house snake um, and I lost a baby got a snake the rest of them you know I found with no issue at all found found them within a couple of hours but it does happen guys so the best thing to do really is you know concentrate on the rodents enclosure being secure if they are in the same room um, obviously a different room is uh, is preferable as I said because then you can keep everything nice and separate so I hope this video helps if you um, if you're planning on keeping uh, you know rodents and, and snakes together um, obviously please don't try to do it in the same tank I've seen someone do that before please don't do that um, it's just but awful for both animals <laughs> please don't do that um, but yeah <laughs> I'll just uh, I'll finish a year now make sure you subscribe if you're new as I said smash that notifications bell for daily videos destroy that like button and I'm just gonna cut a year and pop a little couple of clips of the Daegu so you can see him he's cute as a button um, well I got two you know but they both cute as buttons one is less camera shy than the other so I tend to show him in videos a lot more but I'll um, just add a couple of minutes worth of clips just so you can see him um, if you don't want to see him then obviously now's the time to leave but We'll just add the clips here now.